thought you guys may wanted to see something better than just my room. So I rearranged some things and I put the shelf behind me. So not only do you see my glorious face, but you also see some cool merch behind me, which is linked down below. <laughs> Man, it would take me so long to link all that, but I just moved things around. Basically, this desk used to be against this wall. You may recognize or remember I always mentioned like, oh, I should write that down on my whiteboard. It's right here. You guys can see it now. So I just kind of like swapped things. And now you guys are on a tripod. That really, really helps because now you guys are stationed. Stationed? Is that the word I'm looking for? Probably not. But whatever. You guys aren't on my actual laptop now. You're on an actual tripod, which means you guys won't move at all whenever I try and, you know, bend my laptop. I don't know why I would do that. Uh, but now I can actually close my laptop now instead of having to leave it open and just powering it down. So yeah, I just moved things because now there's a better background. Hopefully you guys like it. I really, really like the setup now. I did have to get an extension cord though because my television and my Switch, they didn't reach any outlets. Also, um... Uh, Google Home. Please don't turn on. There we go. So <laughs> I had to get an extension cord so the three of those could actually plug into a wall and I can use those. So just move things around. Nothing m major has changed. Just the back. Well, I, I mean, that's kind of major. Just the background has changed. Hopefully you guys approve. So now let's move on to the actual video because we've got something really, really exciting to share. With you. I have something really, really exciting to share with you guys. You guys don't know about it yet. But here we go. Oh, and by the way, you're going to see the background be different. It's going to be the original background that I've had for a while in uh, videos coming soon. But that's just because I recorded those videos be before I changed the background. So, um, sorry about that. On with the video. Now this hasn't come from Scott, and normally that would anger people, and they would get all defensive that it hasn't come from Scott, so it, so it can't be true. But, it's come from probably the second most reliable source, other than Scott. The, act the people who actually own the licensing for Five Nights at Freddy's, which is Stryker, Stricker, one of those two, Entertainment, which I didn't know, but they also own the licensing for Caroline and The Walking Dead. So that's pretty cool. So they posted on their Facebook the other day, now that I know they have a Facebook, I am following them. I looked on Twitter to see if they had a Twitter account. I found an account, but it didn't look reliable, so I'm not following it. But just in case you guys want, do want to follow them, their Facebook is linked down below in the description. Please go follow them. Not only are they in the FNAF community, and they own the freaking license, they're a good news source, so that's really, really good. So they posted this the other day on their Facebook, and it says, well, it was posted on January 29th at 7.27pm, and it says, yeah, we, it says we far from being done, but I'm guessing they're supposed, they were going to put we're, and they just did a little misspell there, but they say, yeah, we're far from being done. Five Nights at Freddy's is making its way onto Switch and other platforms with so much more to come. Stay tuned as we celebrate Freddy's fifth anniversary this year. And then they have a link to a website, which I did go to, but it didn't really help out. I kind of just restated this. So, what does this mean? Well, my guess is the way they phrased it, stay tuned as we celebrate Freddy's fifth anniversary this year, makes me believe that the ports will be released on August 8th, 2019. So again, this was posted by the people that own the licensing for Five Nights at Freddy's. And the fact that it says right here, Freddy's fifth anniversary this year, well, we only know it was gonna come out 2019 by the post on Steam that Scott made back in November 2018, last year, um, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> oh yeah, we knew they were coming 2019, but the fact that it's celebrating the 5th anniversary is pretty fitting because we didn't really, we, actually we didn't have anything for the 4 year anniversary of FNAF 
because Scott was so busy with these projects and he said that he was still trying to, you know, relax a bit and take it in that it's been four years. So this would be an absolutely incredible thing to release on the fifth anniversary, which is incredible because that's what, half a... God, hey Google, what is 10 years? Here's a summary from the website en.wikipedia.org. A decade is a period of decade. 10 years. Other words for spans of years also come from Latin, biennium, triennium, quadrennium, lustrum, century, nope. millennium. I don't care. All right, so that is celebrating, <laughs> thank you. That was celebrating half a decade of FNAF, which is absolutely crazy. The fact that it's nearly been a half a decade. But this is kind of sad that it's so far away. It's what, February? March, April, May, June, July, August. That, that's half a year. It's half a year away, which is, is good. You know, at least it's coming soon. But, you know, it's, it's a half a year. So it, it's going to be a long, long time, which is sad. But, hey, I want it to be well. I want it to be done well. And they say that they're far from being done. But as you can see here, they have a picture of Freddy on the Switch which is absolutely cool, and it shows that they're making good progress on the port. So like I said, it is coming to PlayStation 4, Xbox One, iOS, Android, and the Switch, which I believe I did feature all of those in the thumbnail because I did make this before recording it. Oh, I did make the thumbnail before recording this, and I checked the... <clears throat> excuse me, and I checked the post to make sure that I did get all the platforms. So... That's all the news for today. I know, please don't get mad at me that it's not coming directly from Scott, but, you know, it's the people that own the licensing for the game. So it's basically the next best thing after Scott. So that's it. All the platforms, mark your calendars, April, uh, April, August 8th, 2019. Put a date on there, put that, what am I saying? That's it. I know I always drag out outros, and I'm trying not to do that. <laughs> but as you can see, I, I'm not. I'm not. The, <laughs> I'm not doing a good job at it. So, August eighth, two thousand nineteen. Mark your calendars. PS four, Xbox one, Switch, iOS, Android. Let's do it. New background. Goodbye. Smash like. Don't subscribe to PewDiePie. <laughs>